anecdotal is very important. But if you report anecdotal, 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 doesn't do anything good. It's not persuading. It's not convincing. Uh, that's why we we did the randomized study. The motivation why we started this research on antinemoplaston in 1976, the Dr. Brzezinski introduced the new hypothesis of a theory, which in which the human body has a biochemical defense against cancer growth. It sounded to us, you know, very uh, interesting, very much interesting, because if we have uh, uh, bioactive substances in our body uh, to fight with uh, cancer, this substance might be an ideal approach for the cancer treatment. But we did not bl uh, believe the Dr. Brzezinski blindly. We would like to see very much the effect of antineoplasm by our own eyes in our own way. The first we tried to test the effects of antineoplasm in animal study on human breast cancer tumor. Uh, we transplanted human breast cancer cells into the mice. We use antineoplasm in the diet and in this experiment, uh, antineoplastin was inhibiting the tumor growth uh, compared to the control group. So we published this data. So after we gathered data supporting the, the effects of the antineoplastin, uh, we advanced our research to clinical trial. We did the phase one study first. We would like to know the, the, how much dose the patient could tolerate, what kind of adverse effect we, we could expect. We use antineoplastin A10 and AS2-1 injection formula and uh, oral formula. And uh, we used the, this antineoplastin in combination therapy which we use the conventional therapy plus antineoplastin in, in the 43 patient. This 43 patient had a 46 measurable tumor. About 50% of patients are responding to this combination therapy with antineoplastin 18 and AS2-1. We found better or best response in the brain tumor and liver tumor, regardless the tumor is primary or metastatic. Uh, we still have uh, one patient have survived uh, more than 18 years. That's amazing, you know. Usually you didn't see this kind of good uh, response to phase one clinical study because uh, you have to treat the very sick patient who finished all the treatment and uh, found that the, those are not eff effective. We published this result from the phase one clinical study. Since we found the better response in the uh, cancer of the liver and the brain, uh, and since the Kurume University Hospital uh, we have a uh, lot of experts in treating the hepatocellular carcinoma, the liver cancer. Well, we decided to concentrate our study on the liver cancer study. And uh, we move our research to phase two clinical trial. We found that the AS2-1 could obviously prolong the disease-free interval and uh, overall survival. So we moved to the prospective randomized clinical trial. In this study, we subjected the liver metastasis from colon. We divided the patient into two groups randomly in control and antineoplastin treated group. 30 patients in antineoplastin group and 33 patients in control group. We treated the control group with the intra-arterial infusion of 5-FU after colectomy and lobectomy. And in antineoplastin group, we add 
uh, antineoplastin A10 injection for one week after operation and uh, AS dash one capsule for at least one year in addition to the intra-arterial hepatic infusion of 5-FU. And we found the, uh, statistically uh, the overall survival is better than in antineoplastin group than uh, compared to the control group statistically. For instance, in control group, the, about 50% of the patients live the, around 36 months. In antineoplastin group, 50% of the patients live about 70 months. So it, it's, you know, uh, obviously the antineoplastin makes it longer, about double. The scientific community invented the randomized study for not only excluded the anecdotal data. Uh, if you have uh, control and uh, treated group, uh, randomized, they are avoiding the bias. If you randomize the patient, you don't know which one is getting better, the other one is getting worse. So this has been done in Kurume University Hospital, uh, completely independent from um, any other institute. Or, uh, we are not uh, given advice from uh, Brzezinski either. This is the way the, the scientists should be. We doubt, first, we doubt the data <laughs> from the Brzezinski and we tested it. We found that the Dr. Brzezinski was right. It's not obviously anecdotal anymore. The antineo person works on the tumor, uh, on the cancer, beautifully. For instance, cancer patient who had a tremendous multiple metastasis to the lung, he responded to this combination therapy in two weeks. Such quick response we have never seen before. One case we had uh, the uh, multiple, multiple, multiple liver cancer. We gave the uh, intrahepatic arterial infusion of chemo, a little uh, small dose of chemo, plus antineoplastin AD injection. The other almost disappeared in three weeks. The combination works so well, the combination effect will be the synergistic. Because the chemotherapy is covering the one part of the cell, but the antineoplasm seems to be the covering the many parts of the, of the cells. Antineoplasm is to the one induced the apoptosis. This is the kind of program death. So if we injure the cell by chemotherapy, it's triggered the step of the apoptosis. And then we give the antineoplastin its uh, synergistic effect of apoptosis there. So uh, the antineoplastin is giving us the potential for future treatment or future combination treatment, or whatever it is, if uh, it's available for everybody, every oncologist in the world, the oncologists can, you know, make their own recipe to treat the patient. We have uh, been involved in this uh, Anthony Stone's research in Kurume University for 27 years. And 27 years experience of the antineoplastin treatment, uh, we feel like the antineoplastin exerts the anti-cancer effect uh, very mildly, which means the without damaging other tissues or the organs. So, if we could use this antineoplastin in treatment of cancer in any field, we can combine this antineoplastin to other modulation to get much, much better results. 
Mr. A is responding to the therapy very well, and on the other hand, Mr. B is with the same cancer, but he is not responding very well. If you look at the cancer by morphology, the gastric cancer is gastric cancer. Maybe adenocarcinoma, whatever shape it is, we are classify the cancer by the morphology, the shape of the tumor cell. But they may have a different reason to develop the cancer. That's why the Mr. A is responding to the treatment and uh, Mr. B is not responding to the same kind, same chemotherapy. If you look at the gene level of the cancer cell, you have lots of variation. But the outcome of this abnormality is the same. We tested the uh, methylation status on the promoter region of the DNA uh, in tumor suppressor gene. And uh, we tested in, in two different kinds of uh, cell line from colon cancer. They are same colon cancer, same type of cancer, and same morphology. But we found that the, they have different methylation status of the promoter region. What, what does it mean? The methylation is the, is the key to switch activity of the, of the gene or not. Uh, we test the effect of antineoplastin in these two different type of uh, promoter region. And we found, for instance, in A case, this and that region of the promoter. But in B case, with same kind of cancer tumor, the antineoplastin is one cover different area. So this gives you the idea that even you have the same kind of cancer, colon cancer, obviously cancer, but um, they might have a different background to develop the cancer. This is a new idea. If technically possible, you need to check the, your gene condition first before you start the treatment. We would like to publish the, our data in this randomized study to the medical journal. I hope the uh, big medical journal will accept the, uh, our experience, the, our, we, we have done in the past 27 years. Yeah, I hope it was, I don't know if it's a big journal or not. The, the concept of antineoplastin treatment has not easily accepted in general meaning. But you know, if you open the, your mind and uh, if you willing to accept the, any concept the coming in, just think about the, the, uh, the benefits for the patient. That's all. Uh, that's the whole purpose of the medicine there.